these puppies spool up like a jet. They're pretty loud when Angie's not running. But, you get that engine running. As you might have surmised from the opening scene, this video is all about cooling fans. Welcome to the 15th video in this multi-part series on why and how to cool down your twin cam and Milwaukee 8 engine. Today's subject is simple, getting air moving across the engine. These are air-cooled engines. They're designed to have airflow across them and cool them. Even though oil is doing a little bit of work at cooling it down, even though on the twin cooled bikes where it has oil or coolant flowing through the heads around the exhaust valve, that helps a little. These are air cooled bikes. That's the primary method of them getting cooled down. But what happens if you're stuck in traffic and stop and go traffic or very slow traffic? So that's where it really becomes a problem. The other place is look at the design of the engine. The front cylinder is in the wind. The rear cylinder is mostly hidden from the wind by the front cylinder. And so the rear cylinder, even if you're going 70 miles an hour, needs some help to get some airflow around it. So that's why we're talking about cooling fans. For decades, there's been parade fans, what are called parade fans. It's just a little fan that sits between right in here and blows air between the cylinders. They help a little, but they don't really do that much. There are two good options to actually cool down the engine with fans. One are the Mighty Mites, like you see here, and these work well. Don't be confused. The things that are called Cool Masters and some other name, the really big, ugly things that go here. Well, I think they're ugly. Some people might like them but they don't cool as well as these little ones. These little ones actually, in our tests, cool better than the cool masters and the bigger fans. The other fan that works really well is the GEMS Force Flow fan. Uh, Devin runs that on his Street Glide, and I'm actually looking at putting one on my Tri Glide. They're a really good looking fan and very, very effective. And it doubles as a horn. Why fans? These engines are air cooled when you're in stop and go traffic or just going very slow. Uh, there, there's not enough air going across them to cool them down. And a lot of people think, oh, when you're going fast down the road, it's going to cool it down even more. Well, when you're going fast down the road, that engine is working a lot hotter and generating a lot more heat. So I'm going to show you some numbers in a minute of slower riding and faster riding, you'll be surprised even at faster riding with all that air blowing by, the temperatures are hotter. So slow riding, you need the fans. Slow or stop and go, you need the fans to keep air moving across them. And going fast, the rear cylinder being blocked by the front cylinder, that rear cylinder needs some help. So looking at the screen, you see one of the results from a test report we did in the video of this entire test report are linked above and below. But here's a 30 minute ride, ambient temperatures of 88 degrees, 70 miles per hour, fans off. You see the front cylinder was at 239 degrees, not bad. We wanna be, you know, that, that's not a bad temperature. And then the rear cylinder was at 264 degrees, 25 degrees hotter the rear cylinder was than the front cylinder because the rear cylinder is, the wind is being blocked from hitting it. Now we turn the fans on and the front cylinder is at 214 degrees instead of 239 and the rear cylinder is at 222 degrees. This is at 70 mile an hour wind. So you have 70 mile an hour wind blowing past the engine and you have front cylinder and rear cylinder temp at 264 now the same 70 miles an hour, same temperature, everything the same, but the fans being on, you have that rear cylinder drop down to 222. So that's a 42 degree drop in temperature with that fan going across the rear cylinder. Now, 
and stop and go traffic. This was 15 minutes of stop and go, ambient temperatures of 89. Front cylinder at 246. This is with the fans off. Rear cylinder at 255. Turn the fans on. Front cylinder 201, rear cylinder 201. So a 54 degree drop on the rear cylinder, a 45 degree drop on the front cylinder. Here's what's very interesting. You think it's a myth that once you're going and you have all that wind going across, the oh, oil coolers don't matter, fans don't matter. Rear cylinder temp going slow, 255. Rear cylinder temp going fast, 264. Rear cylinder's hotter going fast than it is going slow. Fans are very, very important. I would not run a twin cam or a Milwaukee 8 without fans. And when I, unless it's 40, 30, 40 degrees out, I run the fans 100% of the time. Again, there's links below on more details on each of the Mighty Might fans and the Jim's Force Flow fan. And there's also a link to a video report showing all of our testing that we did. There's also a written report that we're going to link to showing the testing on a different bike with fans. If you found this video useful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends, they'll probably find it interesting. I appreciate you watching and hitting that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. You all ride safe out there.